Hey guys, I hope that you're doing good. In this video, I want to share my experience with the Jose Silva method. Maybe you have watched it. There are a lot of spots and advertisements out there on YouTube. And that's how I got to, to know the method by Mind Valley. But I also got the book. And I took the training uh, on the Mind Valley app. That was almost three years ago. Actually, it was when the pandemic was starting, so beginning of 2020, almost three years ago. And the reason why I decided to purchase it is because, first of all, because I was at home and I was in a way bored because of everything that was going on. So I needed to stay at home. I was just working and I wanted to do something else. And I knew that if I wouldn't start meditating or wouldn't start doing something more in depth, inward, I would probably get depressed by the things going on outside. So that's, that was uh, my decision why I got it. And also because I am Mexican. So when Mind Valley was saying like, oh, this is a Mexican American meditation system, I was like, oh, why not? So I started to research more. And after taking the training with Mind Valley, I got the book. So it was first the training and then the book. And the training, I really, really recommend it, especially for beginners. I was a beginner in meditation. And the cool thing of the app is that it shares with you day by day the meditations and the teaching. So you know what to do every day. It's, it basically has three components. One part is a quick teaching, like what are you going to learn that day? then the meditation of that day or the visualization and then sometimes they give you some homework and i really like the structure and i also really like that every day was going more in depth and there were different types of exercises so it was 28 days and then the first time it was really basic just to learn how to get in a deeper state of relaxation and moving our brain waves from beta to alpha to theta etc and learning that of course that took some time and i was totally new so learning that from someone or from a system that has been proven was really helpful for me because also the way of teaching was really easy or at least for me i took it in english and yeah it was really cool i was doing my daily meditations or the exercise they were giving me and around the day 15 I started to get mm, really connected to with myself, with my dreams, with the life I wanted to create, even when back on the time, so it was 2020, the world was crazy because of everything that was going on. So for me, that was the main benefit of taking the training because you really connect with the um, with yourself and, and, and with the training too. So the guide is, is taking you to different states of relaxation, to how to get in touch with, with your intuition, with your inner voice. And for me, that was really helpful. So for me, that was the beginning of a journey. Um, it opened up so many portals of creativity, spirituality and connection. So for me, I really recommend some, I've heard that some people say like that might be overpriced, if you think that it's outside of your comfort zone or like um, of what you can afford, maybe you can start with the book. And then if you can do it by yourself, because in the book also they, they guide you to some meditations. So with the book, you can also get some knowledge of the method. Um, and I don't know, I think I paid like, this was in pesos, but like $10 or something like that, that it's better, like the, the training. From Mind Valley, I think it's around $400, or at least that's what I paid. And if you have the chance, I really recommend to get the training by Mind Valley. If not the book, I think that's good for starting. And also, if you have some experience meditating, I think probably the book could work for you because then you don't need this, you know, step by step, day by day guidance. It's, it's totally up to you. And for me also, the most important is that when I started taking the meditations, I also started learning how they teach it. So when I was um, applying all these visualizations for myself, 
I also started learning how they were teaching it. And then after some months, I started teaching it in a really informal, with friends and, and with friends of friends scenarios. But uh, I really liked how they structured it. So teaching, meditations, and then some exercises. And you also have access to a community. To be honest, I didn't use that yet. So yeah. And in terms of the um, benefits of it, um, for me, the major benefit was to get in contact with myself, to acknowledge myself as a creator of my life, as a co-creator, uh, actually. So with the universe or with God or with higher intelligence, I started to open up to receive new information, new possibilities to understand that there is something beyond what I can, you know, touch and see. And so there are so many possibilities I can create if I put my mind on it. So for me, it has worked a lot for manifestation and for envisioning a future and holding the vision of the future. So that's why I really liked it. And I've seen both perspectives. So Mind Valley and Jose Silva Method is about envisioning and holding the vision on the future that I really love it. But I also took a mindfulness certification and that's more about present and grounding uh, on the present moment. So I love both approaches and I think I personally need both. So sometimes I want to visualize, sometimes I use Jose Silva Method on my, on my day to day to keep myself motivated on the future that I want to create. But I also like to ground on the present moment with mindfulness. Sometimes um, when I have a lot of excessive futuristic thoughts, I can get into uh, an anxiety state. So I really recommend that you also ground on the present so we don't just live in the future, right? And that's really, really personal. When it comes to the book, the book, um, I read it in Spanish, but there are, there is also, there are also versions in English. Actually, the, the original is in English. And I made a lot of notes, so, so, so many notes I did and highlights. I, I think I will keep on reading it. And to be honest, um, it's really, really useful. And um, I recommend that you, you try it. It has the basics of meditation. It has the basics of uh, NLP. It has the basics of uh, visualization. So from here, if you're a beginner, that's also really cool. To, to get started with the book. And yeah, so basically that's my experience. I love this method. I use it on my workshops. I'm a mindfulness facilitator, but I also use Jose Silva method um, here and there to guide some of my visualizations or to solve something. That's also really important because in the training, they also um, teach you how to solve something from a different state of mind. So you go to sleep, and when you go to bed and you think about the something you want to solve, like the problem or the challenge you're facing, and without using your analytical mind, that sometimes it could be a little bit limited because in a way we think like really linear and we also, we already know some paths, but it's a little bit limited because we cannot see beyond those paths when we are in a, in a state of stress. So what, uh, Jose Silva suggests is like calm down, relax. And sometimes we go to bed with, the, with that um, query and then next day we get the answers. And most of the times we get new perspectives. Most of the times we get just downloads. That's how we call it, like just a download from a meditation or from just from resting. And when you are in a deeper level of relaxation is when you can get different answers, new perspectives, and probably more aligned perspectives on what is true to you and what is the best for you, and not just being in this survival state of mind when we are stressed. So I think those were the, the biggest benefits and the biggest takeaways that I got from the trainings. I still take them. I still do the meditations, even if it has been three years. And at this point, I have so many uh, meditation guides. So I also love Joe Dispenza. I also love Rebecca Campbell, Tara Brack, but I still follow Jose Silva method. Uh, and I think the most important is that you find 
your style. Like you can learn from different guides, but then you can uh, internalize and just make your own creation and like combination of them, find your own voice. I personally guide the meditation, so I also found my voice through others. So I really consumed, I got inspired by others. I, I love some techniques here and there, some words, some styles from others. But also at some point I found my own and I think that's the most important that you just don't you know, follow one because that's the one and only. Maybe you can try different and then find what's, what works better for you. But yeah, this book is really nice. I hope that you can um, start learning it. And yeah, also the, the training from Mind Valley that's really, really nice, that help you stick to a routine when every day you have a new um, training and then it's really short, like it takes, I think like 10 plus 10 minutes, like 10 minutes of the teaching plus 10 minutes of the meditation and you are done, you are set for the day. So it's not a lot of time and it really helps you to connect more with your inner voice. And you will see that if you take the 28 day um, training, there are some things that will start happening in your life. I don't know if to call them miracles or something new because you will be more open, more open to listen, more open to receive, more open in general. And then some things will be a little bit uncomfortable, but the more you train, the more you normalize those miracles on wonderful th things to happen, synchronicities, the more they will come into your life. So I hope that this was useful and let me know if you have any question. I'm also happy to share more about it. Adios, amigos.